Okay, dear friends, I'm back. The machine we'll be looking at is bank on the hex box. I've spawned the machine earlier. Which IP address is this one? And in this video, I'd like to use the Palm box, which is online Palette OS to do this purchasing. Before we start today's journey, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like below. You are greatly appreciated. So without further ado, let's just get started. We can switch over to the viewer or GUI of Palette OS. As you can see, I've already done the map scanning with options like Scene Scan, the Versus Scan, the Default Script Scan, and also the Complete Hisp Scan. From the map scanning results, as you can see over here, the three open ports. The first one is 22, which is running SSH surface and also the actual version information. As we know, this version doesn't include any vulnerability. The second one is 53. As we know, this surface is some sort of the domain server or domain resolution surface. The next one is 80, which is running HTTP surface and also the actual version information, which is Apache 2. So what we are going to do next is to make emulation for the web application. This is all we can do at this moment. So let's open up our browser. And put the IP address of the target. So I think we got the default Apache 2 page back. And for us, we need to, as usual, we need to check the source code of this page. However, nothing interesting here. Also, we can check whether this site has a robot file. But nothing found. Next, we can use the Ligato. You know, the Ligato is one very good tool for the web application emulation. Let's hit enter because it, it not only reviews like misconfigurations, like vulnerabilities, what we can utilize to exploit, and also some common files or directories. But in this case, we cannot get anything, I mean the useful information from the point of the pen tester. So I just uh, conclude this Nigto. And next, of course, we can use the Go Buster to do the directory emulation. IP address and the word list. Dear Buster, dear directory. and the extension options. Okay, let's hit enter. You know, for the web application directory, emulation is very important part. Or maybe we can call it the most important part. And we can let it running but uh, to be honest in this case the go buster cannot emulate out any useful information except this default one to save time 
I'd like to quit this process. So I think we have really done all kinds of things for the web application. But do you remember the target run domain surface? So maybe this one has the domain. So it the 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 site is access is accessed by the domain name rather than IP address. So what's the host name or domain name? I think、uh, so far we didn't get any hint to to get such information. I think now we just、um, maybe the only way to obtain this information is guess, because the machine name is a bank, and、uh, if you follow along, if you do a do often the hack the box machines. Always the the machine use the HTTP as the top level a、uh, domain. So I think、uh, we can echo to add the IP address and the domain name. Of course, this is our guess at this point, and we can use T. But of course, we need to use sudo otherwise. With the current user, we don't have a permission to make a change to the host file. And option is A. It is a hosts. And now, if we go back to our browser and visit the bank, as you can see, we got the different page, which is HTTP bank. And at this point, the The page or the panel want want us to provide email address to be authenticated against, for example, like a test test com one two three submit query, but your credentials are not matching our records. Also, we can try if the field inside this panel has the SQL injection vulnerability, or we can use the login bypass technique, for example, like this one. Of course, this technique is also very frequent、uh, technique to 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 be used. And also, you can save or copy the request and use the SQL map to make more detailed test to see whether this login panel has SQL injection vulnerability. But、uh, no, we 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 cannot find such things. To save time, I will not do that. But、uh, you know, you if you follow along my video series. You 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 can you can understand what I'm doing is just to try my effort to showcase the entire process. So what we are going to do next, you know, we just now although we have already done the direct immersion, but at that time, I mean earlier, we run the directly immersion against the IP address. I think this time we need to. Run it again against the domain name, so we can use the GoBuster DIR, the bank HTTP, and the word list. I'd like to use the same word list. DIRBuster directory and the extension option. I don't want to miss any useful information. Okay, let's hit enter. You as can see the uploads assets. Of course, you can walk through all different files 
what we got from the director immersion. I think、uh, you know, as you can see, the support when we access this file will be redirect automatic automatically to the login. In other words, we should be authenticated before we can access many pages. And also this one, but this one is some static files. You can, of course, we can check on this now. Bank. A set,、uh, not a. Or not a static, like a ticket user PHP, but、uh, we cannot get anything back. We get the empty response. So we go back to our director emulation. You know, I I think、uh, this machine. We need、uh, if you want to do this machine, you need.、Um, Uh, you need a、uh, very big patience, because if you want to emulate out very important directory, you need to, to be、uh, patient. Yeah, to be very very patient. Otherwise, the GoBuster directory will not、uh, review that directory. Of course, I don't want the video so to be so long. I'd like to interrupt. The the directory would be bank transfer. As as you can see here, of course, if you have enough time, you just wait for this process to be finished. Certainly, you can get the same result or same directory. And when we access、uh, this directory. As you can see over here, there's so many different files. ACC file. Maybe this is the encrypted file. We can open it. Some kinds of information. But if we go back to this directory, so many, so many. But、uh, I think one file particularly stands out from the rest. As you can see, this is the file size. As we scroll down, the file size are almost same. But、uh, if we look, if we scroll down. Yeah, this one, as you can see, the file size is much different, is much smaller. I think,、uh, of course, we need to make an more analysis for this file. We can download, and then we can move this file onto our current working directory and the bank. And then we can go back to our working directory. As you can see, we got the username or email and also the password, so we can make a copy. And now the email address email address is Chris, and the bank HTTP.、Uh, Hack the box and password. Submit query. We success successfully log in. And if we go to the support section, this one, this page allow us to upload file. But before we do that, you need to check the source code. Otherwise, maybe you will miss important information. As you can see here, the author. Has left one comment debug. I added the file extension HTTP to execute as PHP for debugging purposes only. So I think now we need to upload the PHP reverse file onto the target, and we need to modify the extension for 
for for it to be working. And first, we need to find the the PHP reverse because I know the pattern OS has this script as you can see and then we can copy from the source to our current directory and of course we can rename this file to shell but the extension should be htb and then we need to modify the IP address of the attacking machine in this case should be our own machine or padded OS and we I as always I'd like to change port number to one of my favorite one and now we can write and quit so then we can set up the listener oh I forgot to specify the port number now we can go back to our browser and then we of course title we can use any random information and choose a file and up submit success which is great and so i think during the stage of the direct emulation we have written know that the target has uploaded a file so i think the the uploaded file should be placed in under this uploads directory so then we can access this directory uploads and the file name is shell let's hit enter go back to our terminal we have already got the reverse shell originated from the target and we can make it f more friendly or spawn the bin bash or bash shell whatever and we can it looks nicer much nicer and then we need to do some local immigration right we can navigate to the home directory there is just a one normal user and then we can get or retrieve the user flag without any problem so next we need to elevate the privilege to loot user and the first thing we can check is a sudo to see where, whether the current user www.data can run the sudo but of course in this case cannot because we do not have the password for the www.data the second one or the second step you shall check is to check or to emulate commands which have SUID bit and which allow us to elevate a privilege. We can use the find command to our advantage. And the option is perm, which stands for permission and the type is a file and the redirect or error to black hole i think what we got the first one emergency is not a default linux command and we can make a copy and run it to see what it's about what the command will be doing let's hit enter yeah very simple we have already got the loot shell and then we can navigate to 
the root directory and then we can get the root flag okay so that's pretty much it which is very easy one i hope to see you in the next one bye have a good day